Look at this old dinosaur. Handy, handy cam. So, yep, has exposure, everything. So, I'm pretty sure this is like the connection that you can use to put in the computer and stuff. So, I don't know about that. That's where you put the tripod in and stuff. And it doesn't say what kind of gigabyte or what is it megapixels or whatever it has and that's weird or i feel like it's weird or maybe i'm just not seeing it but yeah well i thought you had to push this down and stuff but i guess it doesn't do it if it's off which sucks because there's actually i think there's a video I think there's a tape in there. I would like to see what it is. Oh my gosh. Try to see if it, no, way too big. This one's a lot tinier. Ugh, my big fingers. Yeah, this one's a lot bigger than that one. So if I get that battery, I can actually possibly use it. But then again, this is a battery also. So what's the deal? Well, had that in there but um my cord was not with it and that's the main reason why i went over to josh's parents house to look for the cord so it must be in my other two boxes i have this box but i think it had all the bathroom stuff in it so i had all my what is it my i call these placebo pills i tried these and i don't think they really work but i still have like some face wash stuff in here and then lotions and tanning stuff. And I have barbicide in here for when I do my hair. Then I have my nair because I need to burn off some mustache hairs. And then I got my nail stuff. And then I got a brush right here. But let me see if my cord is in here. Yep, I just need to go ahead and put this all in my office because it's got a whole bunch of stuff in there. Okay. So I got some of... This is like random stuff. I'll probably just, or this is a charger to my tablet. Some of this stuff I think I'm just gonna throw away, um, except for this. This is like a little note that my friend Caitlin gave me. I do so wanna try on, first off, there's still, oh my goodness, I still have like products in here that I could use. It's a, a touchable hold finishing spray. It's, I actually, this looks, it's by Paul Mitchell. But this one, goodness. This one's really good if you're wanting um, to straighten your hair and it like hold for a long time. It's kind of like hairspray. You spray in your hair when it's dry. Oh, <gasps> no. Okay, so I had this busted this busted it's mousse and then I have another one that didn't bust so that's so good I have some men's hair gel I have color corrector so if I want to get all the dyes out of my hair I can use this when I want to go straight or go even lighter oh my goodness I have another full body of these how Holy crap, that's amazing. So I can actually straighten my hair again. I have this bathing suit and I wanna see if it fits. So let me see if it fits. All right, I didn't want <laughs> to, but here are my shorts. I guess I could put my shorts way up here to make it a little bit better. But I look like a referee going into the pool. But I actually feel very confident in this. I might actually wear this this summer Josh was worried I didn't have a bathing suit. And I was like, no, I think I still have the one that I, I literally got this at the Dollar Tree and or at Fred's. But this is what it looks like. I think it's very flattering because it hides your back fat. <laughs> but I think it looks really cute. So, yeah. I think it's very cute. And then, you know, of course you could wear shorts with it, but I feel like the shorts would have to be up high. So, I like it. Certainly do. 
I'm just surprised I fit in it. Last year I could not fit into this whatsoever and I looked like I looked like a busted can of biscuits. But since my arms have gone down a lot and I have been exercising more, I definitely look a lot better. Like this right here still needs some work on my arms. But yeah. I just I'll probably still wear shorts with this going out into the pool because my thigh area has so many stretch marks and it's that, like, kind of embarrassing and I'm just not I'm not there yet I'm not comfortable yet to show that much so yeah all right back to seeing what is in here oh this is I have our certificate of marriage Ooh, it's very shiny our certificate of marriage framed um i don't know where to put this like there's nails in the walls but like they're huge i guess that's fine for now has our frame and if you've noticed i've been kind of nesting a little bit or starting to really get used to this house now because we are almost about to buy it and i think i feel really confident that this will be our house um Sooner than later. Ooh, I've been wanting. I love these straighten irons. The one that I have, I think it's like. Uh, I've been using this one. It's by HSI. And it's good and all, but like the plate in it came out and it's just. I don't know. It, ha it also doesn't have an auto shut off on it. But I might still use this one until it kind of burns out. But. This is my favorite one, it's by Diane. I got this for like a dollar. I got a whole bunch of them during beauty school for like a dollar because people, when they quit beauty school and they leave stuff in their lockers and they don't come by and get it, it's officially theirs and so they auction them off for other people to use. I got my lotion, I got hairbrush, and then I got a whole bunch of makeup that I don't use anymore. <gasps> Found my scrunchie. I've been looking for these because my hair has been breaking off right here and the scrunchies so help and i got my contouring stuff oh my goodness i got all my stuff back and then i have this palette this is my maybelline lemonade craze i have an actual um reveal video on it and then i got or my mint proof um united states stuff these are actually coins and I keep them in this box. This box looks like it's a little torn and tattered, but I keep them in here because what's inside is a whole bunch of coins and you can actually end up selling the coins later on. And they're like really cheap when you buy them, but when you, when they come of value, they can be like up to 300 to a thousand. my snow globe i really want to put shelves in here because i want to put like all my little memento stuff on there but i got snow globe i got a processing cap i got a mouse pad that needs to stay over here I got a picture of me my dad and my little brother joshua this I put my brushes in here I have my iron which the iron I've been using is my brother's I've got another scrunchie got another jar for brushes I've oh, got the calm down aftershave that's pretty much just women's aftershave We've got tape measures, so that's good because I'm about to start doing some stuff with that. I got another little thing. Um, I think this was, I think one of my exes, his dad's got this for me and it's to ward off evil or something. But I've kept this because of that reason and I just like having worldly things in here. So the point of all me getting all this 
was to find a connection for my Cricut and I still don't have that. Oh, here's Josh made me this rose. I don't know if y'all have ever seen that vlog, but Josh made me this. He welded it together and gave me a rose. Ain't it so pretty? Oh, and my fix it, forget it spray that I got from uh, Influencer for free. Rubbing alcohol to disinfect. Scrub brush for the kitchen. Hair clip. Koozie, sock, charger, and that is all. So, let me go put these in the kitchen. Oh my goodness comment down below if you ever had one of these these are like the marbled um, things and you can change it out I used to have a ring but um, I think I lost it when I was little or I lost all these little things and um, so my mom I think she had this one and gave it to me but look at it anybody remember these I used to love the rings no clue how it was in here I'm just gonna put it right there but um I finished organizing my jewelry box and yeah it took forever I'm still trying to get stuff in here but I can't okay there we go that fits in there but I have like so many weird stuff in here like I have straps to I don't even know where what it is but I even have my old wallet from high school I actually kind of miss this wallet, but it was just really good and durable, and I still keep it just in case I want to use it again, but I don't know. I might throw it in a washer and wash it a little bit, because this isn't real leather, so you can wash it. It just might have to air dry, but I want to use this again, because this was my favorite, and I mean my favorite, um, wallet. I also still have all of my tanning goggles i have this cheetah one that i got in like high school and i have this one that my mom gave me but she stopped using or going to the tanning bed and i have this one that i used in or i used this one in middle school and i think when i was after i graduated i bought my own pair and then my mom gave me these in high school but um i used to tan a whole lot in the tanning beds until i learned as an adult just how shady some of those people are and how they take the money out of your bank or whatever but anything that doesn't have a match to it i'm just throwing away but i have this this is like a cartilage piercing you put it on your in your cartilage piercing and then you hook this on the side of your ear so it has like a chain i don't know if you can see that but yeah so and then i have these they have matches and i think they're over here No, but I still have some of these earrings that I need to put in there. I think I'm just, no, those are for rings. But I like this jewelry because it has stuff for rings, your earrings, your necklaces. Uh, these are for your bracelets and this is for longer necklaces. And I have stuff right here that's just for like boxes and stuff that you have like box jewelry in but I've had this forever and my mom gave me my my own jewelry box in high school to take care of my own jewelry back when I used to buy a whole bunch of it but since I can't really wear jewelry um you know it's kind of hard to start collect or to collect all of it when you're just allergic to it I have another I don't know where the match the other one to this one is but I like this one this one was cute I wore the this one and these with a few outfits and I wore this one with a few outfits but normally when my ears start to itch I take them right off 
And I used to wear this all the time because I used to do hair. So, but that's me doing my jewelry box for now. But I'm gonna close that. See, there's something always blocking this. I don't know what it is. I think it's. Yeah, there we go. But it just locks like that and it doubles as a mirror. So that's why it's my favorite jewelry box. And I've had this since high school, since like 2013 or 2012, maybe. So yeah, it's definitely one that I will keep forever and Josh put tape on here so there's tape I just need some goo gone or something and wipe that off but yeah it's my favorite jewelry box Alright, so I think I'm going to take the rest of this and throw it away. I'm going to keep this part and I think I don't have any more makeup brushes to be honest. So I might put some sewing stuff in here in it from now on. So I'm not going to keep all this stuff in here. I'm just going to throw whatever is in here away and I'm going to use the rest. And I might actually put sewing stuff in here from now on because I want to get into that. I don't know what else to do. Maybe I can reorganize the stuff, the bathroom stuff. That's what I'll do. All right. So in here, I got some bronzing oil. I got this hydrating body lotion from Victoria's Secrets. I have the Angel Skin Daily Moisturizer. I have this, which is a nail polish remover. Might use that today. I guess one of my nieces left a pool toy or something in there. I got my barbicide jar from when I did hair. I have this. It's an anti-itch lotion. Do not put this on your skin if you have eczema because this actually made it worse. And then I have these fat burning pills that I don't really take daily. I might take the... Um, I might take the rest just to see what it does but I feel like these never did anything for me and then I have some mare I need to get rid of some mustache hairs I have some my doll that I've been looking for and then I have antibiotics that I never finished which I only didn't finish because it was making my, uh, it was giving me heart palpitations. And then I got some oil-free acne moisturizer. I might use that again. I got, oh, this is out. It was coconut body lotion that Caitlin had given me. It was, oh wow. But it was like body lotion that Caitlin gave to me when she got married and it was like part of the bridesmaids gifts or whatever and it empty. I got a brush for makeup that I don't even do anymore. I've been looking for this. This is BioFreeze. I don't even, yeah, it still works. But it's BioFreeze and it's like an all natural uh, muscle pain reliever. I don't know if you can see. But yeah, BioFreeze. I use this. <coughs> Ooh, there's dust in there. But if I have a headache or like a tension headache, I spray this on the back of my neck and it goes away instantly and it feels amazing. Oh, and I got this little candle. I might start this up. And then I have some lash glue and then I have a brush for hair, but I don't do hair. I still have all my stuff though. I just don't know what to do with it. I might actually go through it today and see what I use and what I don't use. And I think I'm just gonna get rid of, of all the products. I don't wanna get rid of my rollabouts because my rollabouts I might use for um, craft stuff. So for all things crafty, I might keep those. I might just put it all in this filing cabinet thing that I have and just put it in there and then give it to whoever. 
think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through all that today because I really need to get rid of it because it's just, it's just in my closet, just sitting there and it's about to go bad. So I need to get rid of it. So yeah, I'm going to burn this candle though because I really want to smell it. Or, here we go. Get all the dirt out. Now my office can smell good. And I'm gonna time lapse now. This is one of my smoothie cups for my, it was supposed to be like a Ninja Bullet, but I got it from Walmart, so it's like a Walmart brand, but it broke. I can't use it anymore. All right, now that I'm finished with that, I'm gonna find a hammer and I'm gonna see if I can nail, really wanna nail this to up here. That way I have more room to put my stuff in. So, yep. So, I didn't have to do any nailing because there was a nail right there. I was going to put it right here, but right there seems a little bit better. Um, it's probably a little bit too high for me, but I have some old stuff in there. I got like this color tattoo eyeshadow, and then this, I believe, is a pressed powder that's like probably gone. This is supposed to be a highlighter that's probably gone. This is an old Tarte um, concealer box, and then lipstick vitamin c serum and this is supposed to be like a glitter stick and then i think this is face wash yep i was right about this this is a powder but dang i used a lot of it i might get this again cover girl tr translucent medium i might get this again because i used it a lot apparently. i think i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this also and just pack it up and be done with it because it's dirty but also you know i don't I don't need it anymore, so I might just throw it away. So technically, this vlog doesn't end here. There's a lot more vlogs, or there's a lot more I filmed that day. And I think this is the second vlog out of three. So stay tuned for more. Please like and subscribe. We're almost to 500 subscribers. Just 10 more, or I think it's 11 to 10 more subscribers. And then we can finally get to 500 and I'm doing this in real time. So the same day I'm editing this vlog and uploading this vlog, it's the real me. And yes, my hair is way different. So if you want to see the vlog of me changing my hair, make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos because yes, my hair is a lot different now and you can see how I achieved this look. I didn't lighten it or anything. I just did color. So stay tuned for that, that vlog. Make sure like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.